Well, thanks so much for joining us today. I have such a special friend. I just love you so much. And um, thank you for your visit here at River of Life Church. You brought such life. I want to talk about one of your messages the other night. I think it was on Friday evening. It was about the Good Shepherd. Uh, I love that connection with Jesus as the Good Shepherd watching over his sheep. You know, as sheep, we have to be herded, don't we? <laughs> we have to be um, in this life. We need someone to guide us. And I'm so glad personally that I have Jesus as my shepherd to guide. But could you speak about the sheep a little bit? I'd like for you to uh, talk about the wonderful example you gave and that you saw yourself and you were a while in Iceland and it was about the sheep that were grazing out on the mountains. Yes, it is. Um, yeah, when Jesus mm -hmm. said, that my sheep hear my voice yeah. and they know me, they follow me because of that. And um, when sheep are in the mountains and mm -hmm. they're released to graze, then they, they leave them there for a while, but then the shepherds come to gather them and they just call on them. And uh, they speak and they recognize the voice of the shepherd and all the sheep go to their own shepherd because of that, which is um, what we have to do with Jesus. And we were talking about Psalm 23, mm -hmm. about, about the Lord is my shepherd yes. and all the benefits okay. that come. But the important thing is that to enjoy them, we have to be sheep. He is the shepherd, that doesn't change. But we have to submit to the shepherd to be sheep. Mm -hmm. So we can then follow the shepherd yeah. and all the benefits come because they are for the shepherd. But if we have the attitude of a goat, mm -hmm. we do not get to enjoy oh. the benefits of a shepherd. Not too many people want to be a goat, do they? <laughs> I certainly do not. And I don't want to clear the path for anybody except to go and be the sheep in his pasture and to graze with Jesus Christ. You know, I love the Psalm 23 that you spoke mm -hmm. on as well. And it's so good to know that we can lie down in green pastures and know the voice of the shepherd. Many voices are coming out today. Yes. And it's hard to know which one to follow. Uh, even people that live for the Lord, they still have to go back to the word uh, that's in the Bible uh, to give them guidance. Yes. And um, we know that that voice of the good shepherd is always the one that we follow. But uh, we have to... Um, again, apply ourselves in the Word of the Lord to cause that to happen, don't we? We need to know the Word and be in relationship with Him. Mm -hmm. That is what makes us know the shepherd's voice. It's not only uh, by when we pray or read the Bible, it's in fellowship, mm -hmm. walking with Him, cooking with Him, shopping with Him, working with Him, like Enoch. Being in the presence of God is in friendship and relationship. Yes, yes. And then we can distinguish the voice among the many voices. Amen. So I just want to encourage everyone with relationship. Make certain that your relationship with Jesus Christ is that he's the good shepherd and we are the sheep of his pasture and he's going to look after us. He's going to watch after us. He's going to protect us from all the wolves that come along in our lives. I know that there's lots of incidents where wolves have been chasing me. It's, of course, all in the spirit. But um, we know that the Good Shepherd will drive all of the evil spirits away as we give ourselves to Him. And I just want to thank you for joining us today. Remember, you hear the voice of the Shepherd and you follow. That Good Shepherd is Jesus Christ. And thank you so much for sharing today. Thank you. Pleasure. Blessings to you.